everybody, D1 Glistener Elf here. This run of Slay the Spire is looking good enough that after it, so I, I did one after stream, uh, and ah. my favorite color is blue too. Very cool. Uh, I thought that I'd show this off because this is looking pretty silly. It started out uh, less than ideal, but it's it's been working out. Uh, so point of reference here, I found th there's a few things to note. Uh, I have three copies of a card called Whirlwind Plus. Where are you? It's this thing. Uh, deal eight damage to all enemies X times, which is uh, pretty sweet. Now, X in this game is always the amount of energy you have at the time. You can't choose what that is. Uh, but I made it where Flex always starts in my hand. Uh, this effectively has innate. And then there are three of them, and if I just took a strike out, so you'll notice no more defense, I took a strike out. The idea is we want to try to go flex, whirlwind, on turn one for a bunch, which, get, which gets even sillier when we have the first attack uh, played each turn that costs two or more is played twice, so I'll get it twice. Uh, flex is a skill, so that won't mess it up. Uh, gain energy at the start of your turn. Uh, there's the one that's putting Flex Plus in my hand. Uh, deals three to begin with. Uh, I get an extra energy, another energy on top, but I can't see their intent, but for obvious reasons that usually doesn't matter. Uh, this doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I get extra strength, so extra damage. Uh, if I would lose HP, lose one less. That matters because you may notice I have uh, apparitions. I actually came across these as part of a question mark area, a mystery area. Uh, the offer was, I think it was something like cut my max HP in half. In exchange I get five apparitions. This is what they normally look like. They, If you don't use them, you lose them. You gain intangible. So for one turn, if you would take damage, it becomes one, and it gets removed until end of combat. Uh, I imagine if I can make it all the way to the final boss, that will be awfully helpful. Of course, I can't actually see if the boss is attacking or whatnot, but hopefully we'll make it work. Hopefully. Uh, and then, yeah, a few other things. Uh, sure. Extra HP. I can sort cards out of my hand if I don't like them in my opener. It's, uh... Yeah. Get extra HP. This relic is used up. Nice. Whenever you lose HP, gain three block next turn. Oh, uh, really quickly, a theory. Uh, if if I'm not mistaken, I don't take any damage with tungsten because of tungsten rod. If I'm intangible, if I would take damage, it becomes one, and then one minus one is zero. So this makes me, as Sundowner would say, I'm an invincible. Except he wouldn't stop him. So, okay. So, whenever you lose HP, gain 3. If I don't lose HP, I gain 6 blocks. So, neat. We, we should be covered either way. Uh, so, we just came through here. <laughs> Nothing I really care for to buy, I suppose. Uh, and so, I think we're out. Now, we have another Elite. And hopefully, we'll get to actually see it. Okay, it's you again. This one guy fought you. Uh, right. So, is there anything here that we don't... Yes, you and you get to go, and then I get two more, and unfortunately I still didn't go across them. Uh, but that's okay, we can use all of these up, and just try to hit that as hard as we can. So she's able. Cannot help myself. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm very mature. Ah, uh, right, there's a whirlwind, okay. Now it's intangible this turn, so I, I shouldn't go for it now. I'm intangible for another turn as well, so we can make it work. Uh, that said, I can still apply a vulnerable to it. I should have played the flex first, but whatever. Is it worth it to deal two damage? I suppose. Not two, but yeah, two. Not, not particularly. But it's vulnerable for six turns now, so at least there's that. There's a bunch of birds in. Alright, so now we're tangible, except we're not, except deal 9, deal 13, 6, 12 times, what's 13 times 12? Uh, it is enough. So remember, 12 times 12 is 144, and that's at 146, so yeah, we're good. 
Hey, I don't think this will matter, but sure. And we're at the point now where we're not really adding cards to our deck because we want to make sure that we get a war we're as likely as possible to get a whirlwind at the start. So we'll see. Just making sure that we're all good. You find yourself in a room filled with racks and test tubes, beakers, flasks, forceps, bench lamps, stirring rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, condensers, and even a rare spiral tube of glass. Hey, uh, find some potions. Distilled chaos, duplication, liquid memories. Yes, based on the, the potions that I actually have, what my what I'm doing here. Uh, gain five strength at the end of your turn. Lose five strength. So flex plus plus flex potion plus whirlwind plus should deal with a fight that's coming up for us. Basically, I don't know that I need two necessarily. And liquid memories would give us the whirlwind back. It's fine, I suppose. Okay, let's see. And then we're out. Doesn't matter, as far as I can tell. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We... Yeah, I think we're on floor... Th yeah, we're on floor three, so I needed to do it then. Tiny. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do we send back? You? You, for sure. actually go for almost everything, but I think we'll keep the Berserk, and... See, I can't see it's intense, so I don't know... I think we'll play it safely here. Apparition, and then World Yeah. Let's see if it was going to attack or not. Yes, it was. Draw reduction. Uh oh. Only four. It's fine. It should still work. Safety first, kids. Double tap. This should be a triple tap in this case. One, two. Yup, there it goes. Yep. 
it needed to be flexed, and this is going to end it after our next one. We didn't get to copy it, though. Uh-oh. We didn't get to copy it because of the time here shenanigans. It is not vulnerable. So this is 16 times 6 times 6. 16 times 6, 16 times six is 96. Yep, we got it. Yes, he did very count. All right, well, we did okay. We didn't have to use one of the potions. Uh, so, yeah, we're okay. We're a little strong. Just a tiny bit. Ready, my boy? Ideal a bunch. That sounds about right, actually. All right, head on up. Let me, let me in. Let me in! Tight. Downside is I didn't get coffee earlier. one part still, unfortunately. Uh, da, da, da. Two attacks, which also doesn't really matter. Yeah, unfortunately, this, this isn't really... It'd be nice if I could just take a card out of the deck, actually. I mean... I guess it's a little bit more block, so helps preserve us a little bit while we're looking for the combo. Alright, this is my last shot at it, and we don't have enough to... Uh, yeah, we don't have enough for anything, actually. We're, we're trying not to add a card again. Okay, now this this one right here... Please have a whirlwind in hand. That is not a whirlwind in hand. Okay. There it is, okay. So, flex is four strength. Uh, 13. This is going to happen. A grand total of, we didn't, oh yeah, we don't have the extra energy. So, 13 times five is, or what's 13 times 10? It's 130. Uh, that's enough to kill one. I can kill the other one if I use you. So let's just finish this in one spell. Ding. <laughs> well, ta-da! It works. Heal 3 HP whenever you hit me. Oh, I don't know this. And now we might as well take it. Only thing I'm... Only thing I'm considering is the flex here. I don't think that we want to. I think that we'd like to keep our deck thinner. Alright, part time. Hello. Okay. Well, we don't need to. We don't need the second one just yet. We'll take the rest. And there you go. Now, this has a unique mechanic. It actually makes it where I can't deal more than a certain amount uh, per turn, unfortunately. Ethereal gain 10 walks, right? 
sure. Ow. Yeah, it, it hits you for one whenever you play hard. Uh, we can double tap, triple tap, whirlwind. So we're looking at 6 times 9, 5400. That's not much. At all. Um, yeah, without flex, you not getting high enough. This was the deck at the end. 
um, what I would have done to be able to get rid of some filler cards. And we used all five of them. Uh, if I could read its intent, then that would have changed the game plan, but if I could read its intent, I wouldn't have had as much energy, and I might not have gotten here in the first place. It's funny how that works, I guess. I mean, we got an extra unlock. That's that's not nothing, right? Havoc, Sentinel, and Exhume. Play the top card of your draw pile and exhaust it. Gain five block. Okay. Put a card from your exhaust pile into your hand. Exhaust. Huh. Okay. Interesting. When I was doing this initially, I was actually hoping I could have made a defense, a block build. Uh, and, and then I stumbled across that little setup. Ah, go figure. Go figure. Anyway, that's it. Didn't go quite as planned, but I'm glad I got to show something. I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.